Easy is a user interface on top of Equalizer APO. So if you have Equalizer audio and you click done, your exit piece, but your equalization still remain, still affects your audio. So let's play a piece of music and equalize a bit. For instance, I can choose a bass boost preset to give the audio a more boost. Or play around with other presets. So each preset gives you an opportunity to manually adjust your audio by moving these sliders up and down. Each slider has a frequency, a gain, a quality, and a type of filter. By default it's on the peak filter. As you can see in the graph, this is how your equalization will affect your audio. So let's reset it. And use one slider. If I move this upwards, you will notice in this frequency you have more gain. So in this frequency the audio sounds louder. If I change the quality value, your filter will be wider or smaller. A high quality means a small filter. And a small quality means a wide filter. Equalization can be done on every device on your computer, in my case speakers and microphone. So you can give your microphone a bass boost, for instance. Also, for each speaker you can apply an equalization. So for the left you can move the slider up. And for the right, you move the sliders down. So you have two different equalizations on the left and the right speaker. If we have equalized your speakers, you have equalized your audio, you can save it on a name, whatever you like. Say equalize default 2 and it appears in this list. You can easily reselect it by clicking on the reset in the list, or you can attach a hotkey, say P, and by just simply Doing Ctrl Alt D, the equalization will be selected. This can also be done from other programs. So this is a hotkey you can use in games or whatever. When you play your audio, You see this peak volume meter going up. If it's full and this light turns red, you have clipping. And clipping means your audio will be distorted. So you have to prevent that. For instance, by dialing back the preamplification. 
or do this automatically by clicking here and please will automatically dial back the preamplifying this simple slider is just the main windows volume and you can mute your speakers by clicking here so when you are done with your equalization you can exit piece here and your equalization will remain or send piece to tray like so by right clicking on the tray you get a menu where you can choose your configurations, your presets. By left clicking, you get the interface of piece again. So, in the next tutorials, I will explain you more about this interface. For instance, the effects window.